Hello, and welcome to another in the series of training videos for QPlayer Premium. In this session, we will demonstrate the newest feature of QPlayer Premium, which is remote control on any browser on any piece of equipment, that be it an iPhone, Android phone, uh, iPad, whatever. Anything that can bring up a browser can now control QPlayer Premium the intent here is primarily for presentation use. What I've done here is brought up uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, undoubtedly familiar with that. I've used their uh, demonstration uh, presentation that they have there. And what we'll do uh, to make this work with uh, QPlayer Premium is to take the, uh, the presentation and we will save it as a, uh, s a series of JPEGs. Okay, we can save it. It asks, do I want the every slide? Yes, I do. All right, it will go and create the folder for us. As soon as it takes a minute for it to, to do that. Okay, Con tells us we're confirmed. Very good. Okay, we can close, close that now. Uh, we don't need to save this. All right, we'll go to our um, file browser. Oops, not our mail but our file browser, and s see that in the downloads folder, we should have the folder that they put the slide presentation in. And there it is right there. We can see uh, one of our slides uh, quickly. Yep, there it is, our first slide. Now we take, we'll go over to QPlayer Premium and take this folder of slides and pictures and make it a Q file. So we'll go to file, we will create a Q file from files, and we will go to uh, our drive D and downloads. Where are we? And then to that folder. Okay, and we're not doing sound files, we're doing video files. So, so there they all are. So we will select those. Okay, and we'll tell it, it yes, we want to create a, it doesn't recognize the, uh, the numbers as we had them there, but we'll, uh, it will sort them properly. Uh, and we will give this just an, a name of, of test and save it as a Q file. All right, we do have some options, as usual, in creating a queue file from a, a directory. Um, we can make a, these queues crossfade. Rather not, uh, we want uh, no advance for a presentation in this case. You can choose other options if you wish. And now we have our queue file. It is generated, and as I, as I indicated, it knew enough to, to sort these in, in the correct order so that when we use them, let's say we have um, we have this, the here's the video player from QPlayer Premium. This would normally be relocated uh, over to your projector so that when you played a, uh, played a slide, you would, um, it would come up on the projector like that. And if you recall, that was our first, our first slide. Okay, but now we're going to do this remotely so that your presenter can uh, control his or her presentation quite readily. So we'll go to options, go down here to the bottom, and we will enable web remote. And the web remoter tool will just minimize itself to the bottom corner there. And we're ready to go. What the presenter then has to do is open up a browser, just happen to have one here on the bottom and sized it reasonably well. Open up a browser and point to the source of, of QPlayer. If you don't know the uh, IP address of QPlayer on your local network, uh, it comes up whenever you do the help about. So it's at 192.168.1.25, all right, which we need to put here. One 92.168.1.25 and then the special port to separate 
us from the regular World Wide Web. We'll put four eights at the end. That's the, the channel number that we're working on. And there we go. This would be the presentation or what would appear on uh, your presenter's uh, iPhone or Android phone or, or iPad or whatever. He or she can um, select a particular slide. You'll notice that <coughs> once I selected it, it also went to that slide uh, in QPlayer Premium. We can then play that slide, and there we are. So now, as they work through their presentation, they can go to the next slide, and then the next slide, and etc. If they need to skip forward or back, it's quite easy. We can go, we can go up to, s to slide 10, play it. If we need to, we can slide back and go back to slide 1, play it. If, we, if one of these files was a movie, we can also, if we were playing it, we can also pause it and resume it. Once we pause it, these buttons become enabled, which will move you 10 seconds either forward or back uh, in, that, in that movie. So that's kind of, kind of handy as well. So there we have the ability to uh, remotely control QPlayer Premium uh, from any uh, device that uh, can bring up a browser. Uh, it was, uh, I the design intent was, pr as I say, primarily for uh, presentations, but it's potential that if this was a, a sound file for a particular uh, show or present uh, play, uh, the you could, during rehearsal, um, select the various cues quite easily from being out in the audience. So if the director or stage manager was out there and running, you were doing a rehearsal. I probably would not recommend using remote control um, during a show, uh, primarily because you're using uh, the network, which would not necessarily, uh, <laughs> none of us consider that um, a totally uh, reliable show uh, communications method. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation and we'll use it to good effect. Thank you very much.